pearls. We found it. Grade five. And we're at the cultural center in the ecosystems building. We're talking about the, uh, the natural habitat here in Kuwait. And this is a small exhibit that they have on Pearl Diamond. Let's watch this, this short, short movie real quick. The tradition of pearl diving in the Arabian Peninsula dates back thousands of years. However, it was around a century ago that pearl diving was at its most popular. The fleets of vessels would set out towards the oyster banks in the summer and would often be away for three to four months at a time. The days were long and the men would free dive for several minutes at a time to around 30, minute, uh, 30 meters deep. <coughs> They would undertake dozens of dives a day and collect around 10 to 20 shells each time. During the dive, the men were, were secured to the ship's railing with a rope tied around their necks. To prevent them inhaling water, divers would wear a nose clip, photon, and toe anchor, hajir, to weigh them down. When they were ready to surface, the diver would pull up the rope and his colleague would assist him up. The most common cause of death was known as shallow water blackout, where the diver would fail to get enough oxygen to their tissues and lose consciousness on ascent. The divers were also at risk from jellyfish, shark, and barracudas, so they had to keep their wits about them. Pearl diving as a source of income declined around 1930 as a result of the development of pearl culturing techniques in Japan. However, the younger generation uh, kept the tradition alive, taking part in an annual pearl diving festival, which was started 25 years ago under the supervision and sponsorship of the Kuwaiti authorities.